lifting. For chest, mm. what do you do? Do you uh, some guys naturally have bigger upper chest? Very few do. Do you uh, emphasize on that for your first movement, or how do you how do you work chest? Generally, we, I, I like to use dumbbells just for the fact I have a lot of shoulder issues. So bench pressing is kind of not my thing to do. So generally, we'll start with flat. You know, I'll do one or two sets of dumbbell presses. You know, go to failure, some static holds, that type of thing. And then I'll just finish off with an incline dumbbell movement. Set it at about 30 degrees, nothing real steep, just because of my shoulder issues. Mm-hmm. But I don't really target, you know, let's say upper or lower. I just kind of just have a balance. Okay. Very cool. Now, how many sets do you do total uh, on average? For chest? Yeah. It'll, it varies. Right now, it could be as little as two. Or it could be as many as four. I don't go past two. Most sets are two per two per exercise, but lately it's been one because just with the, the the intensity and we've been using, so one has been pretty sufficient. And I really have to monitor my shoulder, so it's hit or miss. You know, one workout I may be able to do four sets, another workout maybe just two. Mm-hmm. So I have to be really careful and just I just go by feel with as far as my shoulders. And then how many exercises then? Uh, two. Yeah, just uh, wow. flat dumbbells, incline dumbbells. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's about that's my chest workout. It's it's pretty much been like that for years. Um, I've, probably the most sets I've done probably maybe ten years ago, six at the most for chest. You know, when you give a workout. So yeah. Very cool. Um, now you've been competing for ever, uh, and so do you it's have any, any like wisdom? Um, and just advice for maybe somebody that's new to the sport for uh, show day, because uh, you know lots of people go into a show not knowing really what to do when they arrive. What what's your typical routine when you get uh, to the show for backstage? Typically, you know, I kind of see what time I'm going to be going on. I try to get a clue as far as that. I'm the type of guy that likes to get ready early, so I make sure my tan's good. Well in advance, you know, I'm not one of those guys just going to keep covered up to try to hide. I mean, because all the work's done, everybody's going to see you anyway. So it doesn't matter if, you, you know, you take your clothes off an hour, two hours before. So I, I, I just like to get myself, my tan's good, my oil's good, I'm ready to go. And then, you know, once they call to start warming up, I'm, I'm ready. I just have to do some sets to get pumped up and I'm ready to go. So the main thing is to have a good time. Because, you know, a lot of times you put pressure on yourself to try to win. You can't control outcomes. You can't control any of that. So it's just, you know, try to meet as many people backstage as you can. You know, enjoy everybody back there and have a great time. I mean, that was key for me in 2009. I just put aside trying to win everything and the stress of, you know, that stress putting on myself is trying to win. Just like I just relax. And I think that's pretty much how Free and Jay got formed. It's just that, you know, the camaraderie and got to talk backstage and really enjoyed met some friends. So it's good. Very cool. Um, do you have any weird things you eat before you go on stage? Like, obviously, this isn't weird, but like rice cakes and jelly or something, or do you have something weirder? No, I'm not a rice cake guy. I used to be a rice cake guy because that's what everybody was doing. Everybody like, oh, eat rice cake. That's yeah, so not. I like to eat my everyday foods that I usually do. That got me to that shape in the first place. So I stick to that. I stick to my diet pretty much show day. I mean, right before stage, I may drop a couple peanut butter cups just to get some sodium in my system. But other than that, it's just I do the same thing I do every day. So as long as I know everything I'm doing, at least enough to the point, it's working. So why stop now? So that's how I look at it. Very cool. Um, and then just a couple more questions. Uh, what was one mistake you made on early uh, in your career that you could kind of you could help somebody that's maybe just starting uh, to totally avoid that? I would say put down the muscle magazines. It's just, uh, they, yeah, they just put me on the wrong path for a long time. And it didn't allow me to think for myself and to really learn on my own. So that's, once I put those down and just ended up, I picked up a really good nutrition book. Got the strength training anatomy book. Learned how exercises are performed you know, properly and without someone in my ear trying to say, hey, bro, do this or that. So it's just really, for me, it was just picking up a nice nutrition book, learning about nutrition, and putting those those magazines away, you know, because you'll learn a lot more if you if you do it on your own without, you know, getting your brain kind of 
you know, just by going off Flex Magazine and what so-and-so said to do. So that's how I pretty much learned. It was just trial and error on my own and, you know, pick up some good books. Okay. Now, when you're when you're going for maybe a new method or something, what do you – are you a book guy or are you a online guy? I'm not an online guy. Even though I started a web 3 dj website, I'm not an online guy. So I am – I like to research a good book and see who wrote it and, you know, their background. Um, like right now, Eric and Alberto and Brad, they all pretty much have a good head on their shoulders. So a lot of their techniques I have incorporated and uh, they seem to be working pretty good. But I mean, but after 25 years, I kind of know my body and what good, you know, how it responds to things. So pretty much a lot of them, I would say trial and error because what may work for you may not work for me. So, I mean, you can take an idea and apply it to your training, but really, you got to keep track of everything that you're doing as far as your nutrition, supplements, to make sure that's what's actually working for you, not all the other variables that are surrounding it. Right. So that's how I go about that. What's uh, been your favorite book that you've read, most informational? Um, I can't remember the title off hand. It's a nice nutrition book that I, when I was taking a certification course for uh, personal training, it was a very good book. It was just nuts and bolts of nutrition, and it's just it's common sense. Mm-hmm. It's really common sense. It's you know the bodybuilder doesn't need 400 grams of protein to weigh 160 pounds. You know, to me, you know, 10, 12 years ago, that's what I was doing, just because Flex Magazine told me 400 grams. So it's like um, 150 grams to 200 is sufficient, and it's real common sense. Just if you really read a good nutrition book, you'll learn a lot. Oh, totally, yeah. Very cool. Um, and then the last couple of questions. Actually, first, 3DMJ has a webinar coming up this mm-hmm. Saturday. Um, yeah. So can you kind of explain that? The webinar is going to be this Saturday from 12 to 3. Um, it may not go that long, but we're going to touch on contest prep, you know, ideal body weight, off-season body weights like we talked about earlier. We're going to talk about you know, potassium and sodium and cutting water and all the, the bad things that you know, just hear a lot of bodybuilders doing. Um, we're going to touch on some weight training programming, you know, periodization. We're going to touch on intensity, reps, you know, sets, that type of thing. Uh, we're going to get into some cardio hit, miss, miss, that type of thing. And then we're going to have, I'm going to go over some posing. i um, been doing a lot of shows, so I have somewhat of a good eye for posing. So I'm going to have a presentation on that, you know, common mistakes, and you could do make yourself look better, that type of thing. And we'll have a live Q&A, so if anybody wants to interact, you know, ask away, or we're going to answer the live questions right there on the spot. So it should be good. And uh, actually, today's the last day to register, so I don't know if this is going to make it out in time, but just we'll have more in the future for sure. And it's also going to be, we're going to have it on the site to download after the fact, so... It should be good information. And now, where uh, where can we sign up for this? <clears throat> 3musclejourney.com uh, on the homepage. We do have a link there. Just click the link. You don't go to the registration page. You'll see register and register right there. And after that, we'll send you an email with instructions. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty it's pretty cheap. It's not it's a we made it affordable because a lot of webinars you see they're you know in in person they can go up to three hundred dollars. So ours is twenty dollars online, so it's it's real cheap, and you'll get access to us live. So that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, I signed up for it. It was really easy. Um, and December fourth, and all of the uh, links will be in the description, so you can just sign up real quick. I would definitely recommend it. And uh, then last two questions. Uh, first off, let's go with three DMJ. What are the future plans? Uh, for Team Three DMJ, like what are you guys looking to do? We're coming up on twenty eleven now, which is Crazy, yeah, but uh, real close. Yeah, what are you? What are you thinking? What are you guys thinking? Well, right now after this webinar, because we've been pretty involved with that, um, we've already signed on with another site provider. So our big change is going to be changing the site over. Because right now it was just mainly I launched that site just for my personal blog. Mm-hmm. So it's it's not really capable of, of holding, handling what we need to do. So we're really going to upgrade that and. Uh, we're going to continue doing what we're doing as far as providing articles. We're going to keep featuring some athletes. We're going to, we're going to continue on with the natural movement. So if anybody out there wants to join the natural movement, help inspire others, just go ahead and sign up. You can sign up right on the site uh, under the natural movement tab. And 
all four of us are going to be competing this year, so we're, we're going to be planning a documentary of that. So that's probably going to come out after the season's over. You know, it's probably towards 2012 we'll have that finished, but it's going to document our everything leading up to our show. So that's going to be cool. And actually, three of us, Brad, myself, and Alberto, will be on stage at the same time, going against each other. So that's going to be a, that's going to be a little friendly friendly battle. So it should be fun. So it's going to be it's going to be a good year. So we're just mainly just going to keep expanding what we're doing. We're going to keep going to coaching clients and trying to get them. In, as shape as possible. So that's, that's what we got going on for 2011. Cool, man. Um, and then are you guys all going to be in the same weight class or is it going to be going for the overall? Uh, we're going to be in the same weight class. Wow. As long as, you know, because I think Brad is a little bit heavier than us, but he should fit into our weight class. We're all right in the 160s, that mid-160 range, low 160s. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. And then Eric, he's he's gunning for his pro card this year, so he'll be quite busy himself. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, it's gonna be a good year. Awesome. And then uh, for you, you're gonna be competing. Can you kind of just tell us what your your plans are for 2011 and uh, any goals that you have? Yeah, 2011 is well. 2009, my goal was just to prove to myself I could get in the best shape I've ever had. Because uh, in the past, I've always kind of fallen a little bit short. So. I attain that goal, so I just want to build off of that. So just get a little bit leaner than 2009. Um, my main thing is just have a great time and just enjoy everybody because for me it's really not about winning anymore. It's just getting in the best shape I can and, and meeting new people. and I just, That's that's the best part of the sport. So I mean, the U.S. Cup is probably the, the goal, the first goal, and then I would like to do the Worlds at the, in, in November at the end of the year just because that's been an ultimate goal since I started this, which is to go on the world stage, not necessarily win or, you know, have a certain place. I just want to say I'm standing on, on, the, on the stage, on the world stage. That's the goal. That's WNBF, right? Yeah, WNBF Worlds. So, Very yeah. Cool. That's exciting, dude. Well, thank you so much for your time. And thank you. Yeah, totally. And then thank you guys for watching Mass Muscle TV, bringing the competitors to you.